Okay, first things first. So it looks like this is going to be a bit of a slope down. So I'm going to try and come down like this. Then up the ladder. To here. We may have to figure out where we go after that later. But you know. Make our first delivery, and then go from there. Beginning scan. Have a pleasant journey. You're passing through mule territory. Of course. Move fast and quiet. If they see you, they catch you. To think that their parents were porters like you who risked life and limb to try and keep our country together. And now their broken children carry on the work without any understanding of what it once meant. It's a ritual to them. The delivery. An insatiable addiction. And they'll be coming for you to get their next fix. That's one thing I enjoy about this, like... Like the thing that is driving the the enemies you meet out there isn't like greed necessarily, but like a desire to feel helpful that is just like subsumed their ability to uh, do so in a uh, helpful way, if that makes sense. Weapons restrictions lifted. we may take a moment to take advantage of the uh, the watchtower here. What are we? Build a road? through there back in the day the first expedition team left behind a paver but to finish the job you'll need more than that so it needs crystals metals and ceramics will it stop me at 150 yes You know, Sam, distro centers and the like are stocked with materials you can use to fabricate equipment. You can also take what you need to build structures. That said, there are limits to what each facility can spare. Check their terminals to see what they are. Okay. Nothing in here we can uh, actively use.
I may regret this momentarily. But probably not. Okay, so 800 metal, 600 ceramics. Well, that's handy. I like the idea of getting this up and running. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. Clear. Weapons detected. All weapons will be locked until departure. Cargo verified. Thank you. Welcome to Lake Knot City. Proceed to distribution center. Because, you know, if there's a road, it'll be easier to drive on it, theoretically, and just travel in general. Now, if I've been thinking, it might have been better to uh, stick these metals in the structure before coming back here, but... You can't have everything. Okay. Okay, so we can... Take that, no problem. But they are short on ceramics for now. start. It's most of the way there. It gives us our first opportunity to use our new uh, weight limit. trick will be making sure we can bring back some uh, supplies for this place. Or recycling some stuff. Almost back to uh, where the, the, the site of our immediate distraction. Thank you. 
Okay. Turns out, I brought too much metal. But that's fine. What we can do is stick these in the share locker. for whomever would like to use them. All right, slap it all on the back. Redistribute. Forget how the game works. And then off we go. Right, I think we're actually going to avoid going towards A2 for the time being. Actually, let's check out the uh, the watchtower here before we make any decisions on routes. So we've got some folks out here. I bet we could get the, uh, oh, they have a whole ass base here. Okay. Whole ass base that my route goes directly through. So maybe, maybe. Maybe we need to reassess. This is as far down as we can go. What I'm trying to see right now is if we can spot little their little uh sticky things. Little uh I'm not, I'm not going to be able to think of it. Like the little, little, uh... Right here. These things. <laughs> Alright, so the line seems pretty established here. like a good chunk of territory. <laughs> 
So the question is... How do we want to do this? We are currently here. Like we can come out. Probably pretty wide on this. Like maybe go here first and here and then swing back from the south. Just like as a initial idea here. I can see the uh, little uh, beacons. There we go. That's a good word for it. Off to our left here. So we're going to hang a little north of the... Um, hang a little north of the beacons. Just in the hopes of uh, staying off their radar. Although it does appear like there's not really a great way to do that. I don't think there's a spot where we can thread this needle. Okay, so what we want to do... have a dude coming at us. Okay, so at least one person has been gotten by our clever ruse. Uh, 
I'm fortunate. I think we might be in the clear. Spooky music has stopped. There we go. Like, they're definitely still back there. But they don't appear to be actively after me at the, this exact moment anyway. seem to be outside their ping radius. So all in all. I'd say we're going pretty well. I love the inverse rainbow. So it's apparently since it's on the uh, literal uh, border here, it doesn't work. Fair enough. If that's the case. See if we can find a good spot. not do this. Wait. Well poop. Okay. Would not have done that if I'd known it was just going to get rid of it. I was just thinking it would be nice to still have it. Just in case we need it for something else. <laughs> exactly, fuck that ladder. <laughs> I'm 
the game just decided we don't get it. But hey, you know what? That's that's five kilograms less that we have to carry around, I guess. There we go. Imagine how much better pace we're gonna make. <laughs> Ah, for just half a second, my brain was like, it's sunny outside. Why is it? Why do I hear thunder? to be on the lookout for ceramics as well because I would like to finish that little section of road we might need to wait until Later to pick that up, though. <clears throat> Little snack for later. Make sure we keep our our poo lethal to en enemies, or at least uh, upsetting. Honestly, fantastic game just for allowing me to throw my own pee and poop at people, regardless of how effective it may be. I don't know if this is the easiest line to take here, but it's the line we're on. Honestly, this game makes me want to go hiking. Well, if you don't wash your footing, we will. Ha ha. Ha ha. Okay. Yeah, I think this was the good the good call to make. Head here first, and then swing back around from the south. like the different look of this place. Kind of like more ramshackleness of it. This 
just make sure we make this corner. Take pride in our job. Thank you kindly. I know it couldn't have been easy. Love to receive more likes. Okay. What's your angle anyway? Everyone knows Fragile is behind the attack that wiped out Middlemont City. Only a damn fool trusts that terrorist to deliver shit now. But here you are, filling in. Keeping her business alive for her, am I right? <laughs> I swear. Can't trust anyone these days. And don't try sweet talking me onto your little network. You know why there's been so many terrorist attacks recently? Because you all pissed them off with your talk of reuniting the country. I think we have some Join more work to do. I may as well paint a bullseye on my shelter. Just keep my deliveries coming. We'll get along just fine. I don't need any trouble. Though I will say, I appreciate these hematic grenades of yours. Quality work, gotta admit. Not the sort of equipment the UCA ought to keep to itself. There's a lot of freelance porters operating in these parts, after all. If I could churn these out by the boatload and gear up those folks, now you're good people. I can see that. And you brought my order like I asked. But it'll take more than that for me to agree to what you're asking. I got that impression. That work is a big step. But if you could prove to me Bridges is an organization I can trust, hmm. what about this? Do another run for me. I'll put the details on the terminal there. You got it. Okay. Good 